I think everyone should have a little first aid kit of some sort in their vehicles. And uh, this video is all about showing you mine and everything that I have in it. These days I actually keep mine in the center console here. So here is my first aid kit. It's mostly first aid with a little bit of toiletry things thrown in. Like right here is a little folding hairbrush. But uh, let's go through all of these things and I'll show you what I've got. As you'll find out, there's really no rhyme or reason to uh, the order here, so let's just start. Got some extra strength acetaminophen, which is uh, Tylenol. This is Tylenol PM. Ibuprofen. This is for headaches. This is for general aches and pains, muscle pains. More acetaminophen. That is not the PM version. In here we've got some medicines. This is uh, basically cold medicine. I believe this is Mucinex. Benadryl, allergy medicine, bandages, lots of band-aids of different sizes. Here are some, uh, some vinyl gloves, some disposable gloves. This thing here is wound seal. It helps clot wounds really quickly. Butt paste <laughs> for chafing. Little folding hairbrush to attempt to tame my unruly hair, which does not work. Elastic bandage, tissues, a slightly larger elastic bandage, eye drops, earplugs, Neosporin, the generic equivalent of Neosporin, stool softener, because that is not a problem you want to have when you're out camping or out on the road. Another little single-use thing of Neosporin, wet wipes, some gauze pads to help clean and stop bleeding, some mucus relief, again, it's basically cold medicine, Imodium to stop you up if you've got diarrhea, a little thing of burn gel, moisturizing lotion. My wife uses this more than I do on our trips, but uh, you know, if I'm in the desert and the air is really dry, I can use this on my, on my hands to keep them from cracking or whatever. A tiny little thing of super glue. Itty bitty. Two of these rub on sting relief tubes for mosquito bites. Sunscreen. A little thing of deodorant. Athletic tape or medical tape. A little bag of cough drops. Bug spray. Chapstick. Tums for heartburn. Some itty bitty little tweezers. These are spares for a Swiss Army knife kind of knife water purification tablets. Another thing of lotion, this one is mostly empty. Nail clippers, and that's it. So here we go, this is the whole full thing, the whole shebang. It's actually quite a bit of stuff looking at it like this, but I've built it up over, you know, the last couple of years, just add a little thing to it here and there when, when I think about it. And then there are a couple other things that are kind of first aid related that I, I don't have in that center console. Uh, compartment, but that uh, I do have in my car. One of them is one of these. As it says on here, this is a padded aluminum splint. Basically, it's a roll of, a, of thin aluminum with foam around it, so it can be folded and molded and formed to fit around basically any bone in the body, uh, any major bone. So it's basically a general purpose splint, and I can use uh, the medical tape for this. I also have duct tape in the car which probably is not ideal. And then finally, I guess a couple other things I should mention are that here I always have a Swiss Army knife, which has several tools in it, like scissors and things like that. And then this is some hand sanitizer that I always have right there. And that's it. Let me know what you think about my little first aid kit here. Uh, this is separate from like a car emergency kit. I can go over that in, uh, in a future video, but this is my car first aid kit. Let me know what you have in yours. Let me know what you think I should add in mine. I'm interested in hearing your guys' opinions. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.